In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can output the tab and the standard notation from Chord Pulse. Now, Chord Pulse doesn't have any capabilities for that on its own, but what you can do is just output the MIDI file and import the, the file into Muse Score, which is uh, a totally free program that you can get. You can also do this to, uh, to Tux Guitar, and uh, it's not quite as good, but um, I'm going to show you right now how it comes into Muse Score. So here's the track. and so on. I'm going to do an export to MIDI file and then I would save it to the folder which I've already done and now let's bring this into MuseScore. So now in MuseScore what I'm going to do is go File and this does not have an Import button but what you can do is I'm just going to cancel that one. I'm going to say File Open and if I go to the folder where this uh, MIDI file is, it will recognize that this is a MIDI file, and I can just say open, and then it brings it very nicely into a score like this. And you can see that everything's written out in standard notation, so let's see if this plays. Now that you've got this in here, what you can do is, if you don't want this to be on, let's say you don't want the bass guitar on the bass clef, you can select the I button on the keyboard, I for instruments, and then this will give you a list of the instruments here. So where you see electric bass, it says uh, staff, bass clef, standard. And uh, what I would want to do is go down to, you have three selections here for I'm going to select the full. Now, full would have all the stems. I don't quite know what the difference between the, the other two is. I know the simple one just gives you the very basic. Uh, I don't know what the common one does, but let's just try the full for now. Say OK. So now you can see, I can zoom into that. Uh, it's got, it's got the, uh, the fret numbers in there on the four string tab. All right. So now you can see that one playing. I can't scroll it, but let's, at least we can see it started. All right, so we get that. So just for curiosity, let's go back and, and hit that I button again, and then we'll select the common and see what the difference is. Okay, what it seems to do is to, it puts the stems on the bottom and uh, the other one put the stems on the top. So whichever you prefer, you could do that. And uh, let's now just try for the electric guitar part. I'm going to do the same thing. Hit the I button and it says here Contra Guitar. Now I don't know how you can change that instrument. It doesn't look like you can change it uh, because if you pick this thing over here, that's that only brings up the, uh, the sub menu. So if you wanted to change that to a different guitar, uh, what you'd have to do is go over to the left side over here where it says strings plucked, and there you get a selection of the different instruments that are available. So you, you, know, you could pick electric uh, guitar or, or something like that, uh, electric guitar tablature, and that would, in fact, let me just put that one in just for, uh, we'll just add that one to the score. Let's let's see how that that looks. I'm going to go also over here. I'm going to say tab, six string, six string full. All right. So now what we've got is we've got the we got the electric guitar and we got the bass in tab over here, and we also have an an additional tab down the bottom there. So of course, if you wanted the notes to appear on that lower tab then you would have to copy those. So I'm not yet familiar with this program enough so, so that I could show you how to do that because I actually don't know how to scroll. Um, let's see, I can scroll and zoom. In. Oh, maybe maybe we have, maybe I just found something out. So you hold down the Alt button 
and I'm scrolling with the, with the middle mouse button. So let's see if I can do this. So if I'm going to copy this, scroll all the way to the end, uh, make sure I've got the guitar part, hold down the shift. I'm going to go control C and then let's see if I can scroll back again. And then let's see if it will, I'm going to take my finger off the alt button, go down to the electric guitar and I'm going to say control V. That seems to have done it. Okay, so, so now we've got two. Um, so let's see how that sounds. So it's definitely added a different sound in there for, for the guitar. So, of course, once you've got this in, you can play around and, and get this to the way you like it. So another thing is, if you want the output, of course, you would just go Control P and that would print it. I have an Adobe program in here. So what I can do is I'm going to save this one. Uh, I already saved it before, but let's take a look at this one. Okay, so here it is. So, so here you'll see the the, uh, the different parts, and it's got this new part that we just added over here. So that's how you get your score out of Chord Pulse. If you like this, give me the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as I always like to say, stay tuned, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.